Hey, casual tutorial time. Anyway, I thought this would be a good time to cover the pinwheel. The pinwheel is a very basic move. It shouldn't be too bad. So let's get started. The basic idea is that you throw a breakaway and then you swing the yo-yo at the end of the string. Okay. It's fairly straightforward. You should be able to get it. The main thing to consider is that you want the yo-yos spinning and you want the yo-yos swinging to be in the same plane. You want it to basically be in the same flat surface and the way to make that easiest is as you're swinging pull your throw hand backwards so that the pinwheel is happening in front of everything. You can use your throw hand with a pulling motion to keep it going smoothly. So there you have it there. Pull this hand back so that the pinwheels are all happening in front. So now that you know how to do this, you might be thinking it looks a little silly, why do you want to do this? The main usefulness of it is timing. Um, the broadest way to do this would be if you're performing to the music and you want your trapeze to hit on a specific beat, you do a pinwheel a couple times, then you land in your trapeze, then you do your combo, the crowd goes wild. Okay, that's sort of the broadest way that this timing thing is applicable. Another thing to consider would be putting the pinwheel inside your combo. So let's say you wanted to do magic drop, for example. You do a trapeze, you um, curl your hand, and then you drop. But notice that your yo-yo was sitting still while you were curling around the string. What if you could, say, have the yo-yo doing something? That's where the pinwheel comes in. So you pinwheel, land, there. Okay. So, try that one more time, pinwheel, curl, land, magic drop. Okay. Another example where this is good is for dropping the bucket. Um, I'm not going to go over this in super detail, but if you know, drop in the bucket, there. You can do that trick with a pinwheel instead of letting it dangle, so looks like that. Okay, so as it's coming across the top, well, so as it's coming across the bottom, you pinwheel with your thumb. As it's coming across, you curl your hand under. And as it's coming back around the side, you pin, you uh, pluck it and you land. So if you look up a tutorial for drop in the bucket, that'll get you the basic ideas for the basic one. And once you get that, it's fairly straightforward to do the whole thing while doing a pinwheel. Another example, I'm giving you a lot of examples for this one, is from the cheese whip. The cheese whip is, how, is a way to get into the wrist mount. You whip it across there, then you swing it in. Okay, so that's an error on my part, but um, kind of trust me on this. You whip it in, then you land in the trap to sort of the wrist mount. But um, you notice that the yo-yo stops for a bit while you're whipping. If you wanted, you could say, for example, pinwheel instead of just waiting there. So that works out pretty well. Um, and finally, the last thing to consider when you're doing a pinwheel is sometimes you can use a pinwheel as sort of a utility move to get you to somewhere else that you want to be, that the yo-yo wouldn't normally want to be. Let's use that um, magic drop for an example, okay? So when I did a front string magic drop, and now I'm thinking, you know what? like to be in a green triangle. You pinwheel that direction and you have a green triangle. Okay, so that's one that's a little more subtle. That's one that you're going to have to come up with ideas on your own. That's just one of my ideas. Works pretty nicely. So magic drop, pinwheel, there. Okay. So there are all sorts of opportunities to do that. So hope you like it. Anyway, so TLDR. The pinwheel is a basic trick that involves swinging the yo-yo at the end of the string, and it is very good for timing things. It allows you to be doing things with your yo-yo when you're trying to do other things at the same time with your, um, with your hands moving the string. You can also use it to get your timing down for the music, and you can also use it for positioning the yo-yo and changing your momentum. Yeah. Anyway, if you liked the video, um, subscribe on YouTube maybe. Um, if you liked it, let me know in either the Reddit thread or in my pants.
Those are the comments, by the way. And if you didn't like it, again, Reddit thread over my pants. Um, and uh, if you have been liking it, um, and you think that there's something else you want me to cover, um, you can do requests. I take requests. I can do tutorials for things that you want. And if you have been liking it, thanks.